resolution from item four, the Department of Public Works, resolution to approve contract with the Detroit Regional Convention Authority to operate the Phoenix Center parking deck operations in the amount of 19,000 commencing March 1st, 2020. Okay, who's speaking for administration? Good, good, good evening, everyone. This is Dan Ringo. Um, I, well, before I think we get started with that, I think we're going to, I may have jumped to John, I believe there will be a reading of a letter. Yeah, um, is it related, I, I mean, is it the vote on this item? So I think that um, John Clark sent something about them withdrawing this motion, so I didn't know why it was still on the Agenda. Right. It's, okay. Okay. So, yeah, so excuse me. So, correct, uh, Council President. Um, but I believe what the deputy mayor was requesting was a um, revision to the agenda to include uh, the resolution to allow the mayor to enter into an agreement with um, Work Bay Drywall for an extension of the current agreement to maintain the Phoenix Center uh, parking garage because, as you know, we have to remain compliant. With the settlement agreement and that expires um i believe today so we it be before april 1st into november 1st so we have a resolution before the council to uh, allow that so we at least remain compliant because we were not able to uh get approved the agreement we brought last week which was uh for the council to allow the mayor to enter an agreement with the detroit regional pension facility authority so our backup our backup plan is to at least be able to remain compliant with the settlement agreement and extend the current agreement that we have with Iowa Towers or, or North Bay Drywall. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Attorney Sharp? The problem I have with it is, like I said, I didn't receive it, so I haven't read it. So you would, you know. Um, yeah. yeah I, 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 I mean, and then, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to continue to belabor the point, but of course, you know, this agreement was completely different from the agreement that was before you last week but nevertheless i have not read it so i can't give you any um, input on that if i want to jump in councilman uh this is john Bam. that agreement the agreement we're looking to extend is the same agreement as we had as you had approved last year i believe it was in december it's the same extension you approved last year so i think you are starting out the same cost and the same Agreement in order to just point. And, and, and I did right. That's all. Right. And I, I did my, my issue is this. At six fifteen. Yeah, when, when John Clark um, sent out the letter about the other company withdrawing or whatever, um, that letter for um, the extension um, needed to be sent to us at that same time. And that did not happen. So um, and uh, I guess how long is the extension for? Because like, like uh, Attorney Sharp said, I haven't read it, so. The extension is till November or October 31st of this year. And uh, unfortunately, when we heard of this sort of withdrawing, we had to actually go and negotiate with um, North Bay Drywall and they're in California. So it, it takes a little bit of time to get those, you know, going. Okay. And we can't enter into this agreement next Tuesday? Council, so the, uh, the contract we have with North, North Bay right now expires today. That's why I wanted to make the amendment to allow that extension to occur. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm asking you, um, and you just didn't answer my question, Deputy Mayor. So excuse me if I come across a little cranky. I just said, can we vote on this contract next Tuesday? If I may, if I may, oh, Mr. President. Yes, Pro Tem Yeah, the problem I had, and I had in the very beginning, that this was a a illegal contract, and is is actually an authority. It's not just a little. It's not a little company. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's it's actually state law that everybody that somebody was trying to ram it through us to vote on it. It is not no independent little company. It's a regional authority, just like the Great Lakes Water Authority. That was pure BS for it to even be included on our agenda and to put it on the existence of some item we can just vote on. This uh, regional authority has all kind of power, even close, even with taxation, on the residents. 
I think the people that were involved should have been, uh, uh, they should actually lose their law license for actually bringing this stuff up. So, Thank first you. time, Car yeah, I, I, first time Carter, just to, for clarity's sake, uh, they have removed their offer. Um, so for whatever reason, uh, they removed their offer. So the Detroit Regional is no longer on the table as a contract. I understand, but at the same time, all the agents that are involved are still are still involved with with, with, with this finagling of the city. Yeah, in council president, if I could respond, because the pro tem has just said I should log yeah. lose my license um, over this agreement. The reality is we've explained a couple times about the benefits that that agreement did bring to the city, and it was a good yeah. idea. Nevertheless. After the last meeting in which um, Councilwoman Taylor Burks told uh, the presenter, the president of Cobo to shut up, and then Mr. Pro Tem Carter actually swore at him, um, they said the board directed him to no longer deal with us. And so that kind of left us in the lurch, and we were able to negotiate in a short period of time that agreement so that that's with the current vendor that does the work so that we can maintain compliance under the settlement agreement. This is really important. It's Mr. Important President. And it's really basic. And so this is to ensure we maintain the obligations under the agreement. And I ask that you please move forward with this because this would just be, you know, another potential for them to assert that we could be breaching this contract. Mr. President. Uh, uh, Councilwoman Norris, yes. I have never, ever told anyone to shut up since I have been sitting up there and I don't appreciate that being put out there. I have never done that. Never, ever. Okay. Can, can we? They tell the truth, don't say nothing, okay? Because I'm getting really pissed off. Okay, I'm about to mute everybody in a second. Um, uh, I just want to stick to the Jermaine points of, uh, because that's not on our agenda today. Um, I asked the question, could we vote on this next Tuesday? And I haven't got an answer from the city attorney, the deputy mayor, or anybody else. Yeah, may I respond? Go ahead, um, deputy mayor. The deputy mayor is, is unmuted. Uh, okay, I'm trying to unmute her um, right now, so. I got it. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. Can yep. you hear me now? Yep. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Yes. The answer is yes. We would like to ask today, and as the city attorney mentioned, if we don't have this error, then we would be in violation of our of our current current agreement. So, uh, 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 we don't want to give give them any leeway. I, I, I heard you. I heard your point. Um, what I asked was, can we vote on it next Tuesday? And so I was hoping I would get an answer to my question. Well, obviously, City Council, with all due respect, we, we can do that, but it is not recommended. We believe okay. that the action should be taken. Okay. Okay. So okay. Thank you. Thank you. Doing so would necessarily mean breach the contract for a week. That's not an option as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Thank you. Yes. I just want to say it's interesting that, uh, you know, you'll be out of compliance, but yet, again, the other contract did not even contain the same terms whatsoever. It was a management agreement and not a maintenance. So I, I, I really wonder how you're going to be in compliance with that agreement had you gone and uh, voted on that. So thank you. Okay. Any other council people want to speak? My hand is yes. back up. My hand okay. is up. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll go with Councilwoman Kibler, and then I will go with Councilwoman Miller. We received a text message or an email, yes, we did, from John Clark this weekend. And it does state that the Detroit Metro pulled out, and we they now negotiated with North Bay to continue this so we don't come into non-compliance issues, being that it expires, I believe, today, this yes. at midnight. This way we go into it with North Bay. We're already not going to meet our obligations that we signed for in November. We need to keep forward with as much as we can up until this time. I mean, I'm just going to ask the council to please 
Let's honor the words that we held to the courts in 2017. That was November the 1st that we agreed to that. And yes, I have heard people tell people to shut up while they're at the podium. And that very well may have happened, which is why Detroit Metro pulled out. I mean, facts are facts. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. It doesn't happen. Thank you. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute everybody. I, I, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna because I can't even hear anything right now. I don't, I don't. I'm gonna mute everybody, and then I'm gonna unmute. Um, if Councilwoman Miller can speak now. Yes, yes. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm gonna be very brief. Uh, I don't believe on anything that I haven't read. I've read, I've seen, and I've been home all day and looking at my email, so I know it has to come in late. So you can go to a body, I think you asked the wrong people, so you can go to, I think you asked your colleagues. So we can go ahead and vote on the first of the third, and then it goes like it goes. Let's vote. Well, we, we can't vote the agenda. Support. 